Hey folks, this is Ioe Thron. We're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Ashen Shigar. He is in the uh, tier 8 premium German tank below, whatever, the, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, Lion? Lion Splits, it's called. Lion is what everybody means in German, right? For sure. Anyway, so this is a tier 8 game on Overwatch. This is not Overwatch. This is Overlord. Why? We're not going to talk about <laughs> We're just going to buzz right on past this if I know exactly what I'm talking about. And you're just going to assume I do because, good lord, I've been playing this game long enough I should, right? Um, so he's platooned up with thinking Cashew over there in the Chrysler. Um, GF, but he is going to go and sit on the Mara? Yeah. The only issue is that, um, he might get himself shot by tank destroyers from there. Or, um, I did not expect that we'd have a scout try and jump over the gorge. I assume that's what he was trying to jump the entire map. Because why else would he be there at that speed? <clears throat> so we could pick him out of the air, because that is exactly what Ash just did. He totally just snagged that guy right out of midair, and uh, that was great. And unfortunately, he's gonna leave thinking more or less by himself. I mean, he's got a BKP with him, but I mean, it, it's a BKP, so we'll see. Um, unfortunately for our team, though, there's nobody covering this middle gap, so this is, of course, what Ash is pushing up towards. Somebody needs to cover it, somebody needs to sit there and, you know, if, um, push back the tanks that are going to sit there. Um, it looks like an OHO, so it's going to be an issue as long as the OHO is focusing on us. But if he's focusing on the tank to short behind us, we're going to have an opportunity to beat him up a little bit. This guy is going to have a hard time, you know, he can't pen the front of a row, it's just not going to happen. Uh, especially if all he can see is the gun mantle, which is the only target Ash is currently giving him. Though, you don't need to pan with one of those HE shells to do damage. Unfortunately for him, we really go faster than he does, so if he's just going to poke in and do 250 damage to us, we're going to take that, because we're going to do 350-ish back to him every time. And if you do the math, you find out we win. Unfortunately, though, we have to connect those shells in order to do the damage. Um, whereas, obviously, he just has to hit near us to do the damage. Okay, so, it looks like Ash is going to push up and around. Uh, he wants to get in close to this guy because, obviously, the Oho doesn't really need to aim. Whereas, Ash really does need to make sure he's hitting the right targets in order to be able to punch through this guy's armor. Because the Oho has thick enough armor that if we just fire willy nilly at it, we're gonna bounce occasionally. Um, whereas, obviously, he doesn't have that same detriment when shooting at us. So, actually, he does need to pick his target as well. Unfortunately, every once in a while, he's missing. Um, and the Oho, again, just needs to hit him. As the SP1C comes sliding off the cliff. Uh, I don't know if he knew what he was doing, but he got lucky in the fact that he didn't get picked off by that Oni or somebody else. Um, he's also lucky he didn't accept a shell from the Yoho right there, because that would have been the end of him. As the LT goes running through the middle of the enemy tanks, I assume he was trying to commit suicide, because why else would he be there? Um, but he, either way, he serves as a great distraction. And that's Ash put in some real damage. Well, they're all looking at him. Unfortunately, in the meantime, at some point, Thinking Keshu has died way over there um, in the exposed flank. He was in a bad spot. Uh, I guess behind that little bunker over there. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do at all. I was trying to hit, <laughs> hit control so I can move the mouse around and I hit shift, and that didn't. Uh, that didn't come out the way I wanted to, you know. Um, so it's going to take two more hits on the Oho 
in order to kill. Of course, we can't keep creating damage with this guy. We really need to try and find our way to do damage without getting any return on us because, well, that thing is going to start to really seriously beat us up in not too much time. Also, it looks like we're going to have to carry this game, so, you know, there's that. Ooh. Now, the great thing about the though is it has a laser light gun if you had a aim. Unfortunately, Ash was not able to let that aim in as much as it wanted to. He had it only sneaking up on him. He has artillery looking at him. He has other things to worry about, so unfortunately, he wasn't able to let the gun settle all the way. And unfortunately, this 432 has died in the worst possible spot. Um, that means that the only way he can come up way farther than he should be able to uh, because there's this horrible tank in the way that's blocking our ability to return fire. Um, oh, well, I mean... Okay, we bounced. <laughs> I fully expected that shell to go through, as I'm sure Ash did. Um, yep. So as long as they're shooting at our turret, they're not going to do anything safe. It's just impenetrable from the front. It is the German version of a T-34 or a T-29 from the front. If you always can see the turret, don't even bother. It's not worth it. You're not going to find what you want to find in it. Um, better off to let somebody else shoot at it, find a way to flank it, or find a way to um, let it shoot somebody else and then turn and turning its turn if you can get a shot in once turn it sideways onto you and you can see the side of the turret you'll go through but if you can only can see the front of the turret it's not worth your shot unless you're going to HEM and just go for whatever damage right now at some point the Oho has died so that does help quite a bit. I'm assuming our killer had something to do with that. As the AT7 bounces off of him. He's got support from his scorpion here. Sitting out in the open. Assuming, I guess he assumes the game is almost done or, or something like that. And he can come charging out now. But it's going to get him killed. Um, relatively soon, I expect. Oh, I guess he has fallen back a little bit. As soon as our killer has a shell into him. That's going to be in the Scorpion. Oh, or the AC-48. Thankfully though, our AT-15 does take down the AT-7. So there's one less thing to worry about. There's still an ONI beneath us and there's nothing challenging the ONI anymore. As even the Challenger is not actually in position to do that. So Ash is going to come down to make sure this guy isn't about to flank us. Because that is the worst possible thing you could have. The last thing you need in the world is an HE shell coming from behind. Because that will wreck your day. Um, and really, he knows he can manhandle this guy. Oh, unfortunately, though, the first shot bounces. And okay, again, the only doesn't need to pen anywhere. He just needs to put a shot on target. Now this guy's doing the wrong thing. He should be coming up getting as close to us as possible, but instead he backs off, and that's Ash put a precise shell right where he wants to. Oni fires, we know the Oni has fired, we know it's not going to reload again for a while. Come out, take your time, aim, put the shell in, roll back into cover. Now, the Ace Amex is backing down the cliff, he's afraid of the IKB up there, he's not thinking about us, which is exactly what Ash wants as he goes ahead and takes the guy out of the game. Unfortunately, the GW Panther does the same with the IKV, or LKV, or whatever it is. Well, okay then. We're going to speed this up because suddenly Ash is in a predicament. There's a Scorpion and two RD on the other team. He has only two artillery for backup. Um, they are not going to be able to scout anything. He's going to have to do all the scouting. He's also in, in a, a spot health-wise where he can't get hit too many times by these guys. A scorpion will kill him in three shells. Whereas, if the scorpion has similar health to the last time we saw him, it's going to take more than three of Ash's cells to kill him. Also, scorpion is going to reload faster. So, we're going to 
have to hit him without being able to be seen. And she's of course going to try and make that happen by scooting to the complete other side of the map. The scorpion doesn't know we're here. Unfortunately, I didn't get that uh, slow down time enough. Oh! Shot to the face! Did he repair? Wait. Did he repair? I don't know what we repaired. Oh, he repaired the engine. But not the tracks, of course. Yeah, okay. Of course, you're gonna need the engine more. Then you're gonna need the tracks. The tracks don't repair of their own question. And be okay. A dead engine, though, is always going to be a dead engine. That scorpion is on full health. He's only gonna need to put two shells into us to end this game. Whereas we definitely need to put more than two shells into him. And he is fast. He could potentially be behind us. I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure he's either in those bushes straight ahead of us. Um, or he is running for his life over that way. Now that we do have an M12 pushing forward on the flank, so it's possible that he can get into a spot where he can better um, assist us. Or he may just push over the ridge line and spot the scorpion for us. Either way, would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so it's up for the first one. And no scorpion. So it's likely the guy ran. Uh, since he's definitely not in that first bush spot I thought he was. And not in the second line of bushes. Possibly he's back in the third line. Or even back there. But I think more likely he's ran all the way down. And he has joined up with his... Oh, he's over there! That's a great spot for him to be in. Unfortunate for us, but great for him. And you see Ash is trying to keep this house in line with where he thinks the GW is. So the GW is going to have a hard time hitting him. Uh, the GW Panther has, of course, a very... Wait. What was that shot? I don't know who that was. Was that a snapshot by the GW on us, maybe? Oh, yeah. That's what that was. GW missed, hit the ground, revealed his position, and the ACU shell does not penetrate. So the GW is potentially going to have a uh, second shell, which is what he's playing for right now. But thankfully, Ash puts the shell in first, and we secure the kill. Unfortunately, the scorpion dings us in the meantime. So now, yeah. That scorpion needs only one more shell into us to end the game. Side scraping is going to have to be what he's going to have to do. Um, but he does need to find this guy and our M12 can survive a single hit from this guy. So that's what he does. He pushes up, he scouts him. And now Ash is going to have to be effective because in a second we're going to lose. No! M12 isn't dead yet, but the Scorpion doesn't get penned by the AG shell, which puts us in a bad spot. Oh, seeing him aiming the other way, the M12 is still alive. The Scorpion flubbed at least one shot there. Ash is pushing up on this guy. He wants to pressure him into making a mistake. That's exactly what we managed to do. Ooh, as the second artillery shell comes in, most likely from our artillery back home, Scorpion flubs the shot, and that is game. Wow! Five seconds left on the clock as we pull that one out. Well done, Ash. That was awesome. And actually, that didn't feel like 15 minutes to me. I don't know if it felt like 15 minutes to you, but... Wow, that was well done. My ball played, and a top gun. Cool, we'll take it, right? Let's go see what he earned for that. Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, and a Hand of God Bruiser. Do us fire for effect. 20 bonds from a tier 8 game. Nice job. He gets the Pascucci's for Curse killing both Artillery, High Caliber, and Top Gun Awards. Well done, sir. This was a great, great game, and of course, that best start ever. Um, I, I should highlight that somewhere, because that was awesome. 
Um, though, props to the Scorpion player, obviously the best guy on his team. 2,400 damage, which is better than, yeah, most of our team. Almost our entire team, actually. Though, I do need to give props to Elwood and the M12 without him coming to save us at the end of the game. Um, that game would have been lost. I have almost no doubt. Because Ash would have been scanning head blind. He would have got ambushed more than once and probably would have died in the attempt. But it was great. It was well played on everybody's part. And Ash earned a ton of money off that and a ton of experience. And it was a great game. It was well deserved. Well done, sir. Thank you all for for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please do hit that like button. If you haven't, please hit the dislike button. I'll take both of them. Um, and I'll see you around this IOE thread.